Okay, we can end the show by, uh, I haven't done this in a while, but each of you telling me uh, what's making you, what are you doing to relax? Uh, what's making you happy lately? Anything? Oh, I Peggy, love that Peggy, question. Peggy Sue, That's... do you have anything to recommend to people that will brighten their day? Yeah. Um, great question. Well, uh, I just, my, my husband and I have are very late on the boat. We're watching Succession. Mm. Um, so that's been really enjoyable. Um, and I started figure skating. So, um, talk about elite sports. Uh, I started taking figure skating lessons and I skate actually at, I'm now a very large supporter of the St. Louis park parks and rec program. That's the best one. I hand them all my money. Um, yeah, so I started figure skating. I figure skated this morning, actually, since, before work. Since so, when? Since when can you get into figure skating as an adult? You can. Well, so St. Paul, St. Louis Park has a very robust adult figure skating program. First of all, um, but I started taking lessons in Edina because that was what had availability. Because it can be very difficult to get into adult figure skating lessons. Who knew? Um, and then I've been taking also, I, so then I started taking lessons at the Minneapolis Figure Skating Club, which operates out of Augsburg. Um, zero out of 10. Not really loving that. But I paid for it, so I'm going to keep doing it. Um, and then I, I, I do open skate, uh, like open figure skating time. That's without like hockey players or like small children um, at St. Louis Park. And then I'm probably going to start taking private lessons there because they have, they have private coaches for figure skating there. So what what is an adult? Uh, somebody who gets into figure skating as an adult, what can they get up to? Are we talking about leaps and twirls? Yeah, that you level can do of, it all. You can twirl. Yeah. Like go into the air and spin around. Yeah, there's literally like, her name is Mary, Mary Ann or Mary, Mary something. She's like, she's got to be like 65 that skates every morning, like at the place that I skate. And she's out here like doing lutzes and, and jumping around. Hmm. Is this so. a sport that's on the rise? I, probably not. I don't know. No. Ask Chris. <laughs> how, how did you get into it? How did you get into it? Oh, this is a very existential moment. Um, so I, two reasons. I, I needed to move my body more. And I made the decision that like, if I was going to move my body, I wasn't going to do stuff that I didn't like. So like, I've been like a big like hit, like take hit classes or like go to like these really intense like gym courses or like pretend that I like running and like doing all this stuff that I don't actually like at all, um, that I have zero fun doing. Um, and so then I don't exercise cause I don't like it. Uh, so I started rock climbing. So I, I boulder and then I was, I've always really wanted to take figure skating lessons, like probably for over a decade. Um, but it's just something that I was like, I didn't have the time or I forgot that I wanted to do it. And then when I remembered I wanted to do it, there wasn't anywhere that had lessons. And so I kind of remembered I wanted to do it at the right time because it was kind of like a New Year's resolution kind of thing. Um, and then I just, now that I'm over 30, I realize I'm like very afraid of things. Like I'm terrified my husband's going to die at any moment. Like I am terrified I'm going to die driving my vehicle, which is actually a reasonable fear. Um and I just, I find that I'm like very afraid of things. Um, I don't know if that's just like a, a, my, my own 30 year old experience. If other people have had this experience, tell me, slide into my DMs. But um, so I just had this like fear um, and both bouldering and figure skating is like kind of scary because you can fall both of those at any moment and injure yourself. And so um I just really felt like I should do something I was afraid of and, and do it now before it was too late. And I had like regret for not doing it. Um, so. So yeah. you did, you didn't read about it in like glamor magazine or anything. It's not like a hot new trend. You you came up with this trend on your own. <laughs> I did. I did. I, I wouldn't call it a trend. I think that uh, unless people want to start getting on it and then they want to skate with me and please do. I, this, this episode, uh, once it goes up on YouTube and across podcasting platforms, a trend has begun. Perfect. I, I didn't know I would elic elicit uh, an entire figure skating uh, story, but I'm glad I asked the question. Chris, do you do you have any response to that or I uh, do. recommendations of your own? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make a pitch for people who wanted to get started. It's it's too late now, uh, but next winter, um, you should go try it out at Loring Park. I went skating for my first time, ice skating there. 
Um, Fun. They, they have uh, free skates that you can borrow to use it. It's a really great program and a lot of fun. Will they have large size skates for large size people? They had uh, ones that were larger than mine. I'm, I'm a size 11, so I assume. Yeah, they had they had plenty of them. Okay, is that is that your recommendation, Chris? The the skating because you stole Peggy Sue's recommendation. If that's the case, well, you have to pay to do what Peggy Sue is promoting, right? This one is so yours is better. I'm not promoting it necessarily. Okay. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to say that. But Chris, okay. what what is making you happy? What do you have to recommend to people? You know, normally I would probably talk about biking, but I broke my wrist a couple of weeks ago. Uh, just okay. fell on the ice and. Uh, the doctor said I should not bike because it's, you know, putting pressure on my wrist. Like ever? Ever? Or... No, for about six weeks. Okay. So I'm, I'm, in, I'm in week two of, of six. And I made the mistake of telling my landlord that that was the doctor's recommendation because I wasn't going to follow it. I was going to take my risks because the main, the main risk is like if you, if you fall off your bike, then you'll break it really badly, Right. That's what they wanted to prevent, but um, my landlord locked the shed, and um, <laughs> I don't have access to it. Well, that's a so, sweet story of how much your landlord cares for you. <laughs> she does. Um, so uh, I've been uh, not getting as much exercise as I normally would um, because of that. Um, but uh, I've been reading the Expanse series. I was just starting on that. Mm-hmm. So that's that's, good. I, I can recommend that too. That's very good. Yeah, yeah. I've watched the television show. It's a great television show. Probably my favorite science fiction, and the books are even better. That is one. That is probably my husband's favorite television show. Oh, good. So a lot of expanse has existed in this house. This is a real, real thing. Real, 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 real thing. We're in the wedge neighborhood right now, 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 right now.